are at Rockwell Power Plant Mall. So, the thing I like about this is that unlike sa other malls na mag-register ka over and over again, here, you just register once sa system ng mall and you're good to go. Hindi mo na kailangan na mag-sign sa lahat ng establishments. Kasi nga naman, counter-intuitive yun, no? Kasi gusto mong maiwasan na kahawa ka ng disintense with a lot of people. So, dapat talaga one register one registered account lang. So, ganda ng ginawa na yung power plant mall. Ang na-observe ko lang ngayong March, ang daming shops or stalls na nawala. And, um, hindi as festive yung atmosphere. Kasi dati, pag Saturday, ah, uh, dami talagang tao na nandito. So, and then, syempre, one of the main reasons why people go here is to watch the cinema. Kasi pagkatapos mo nga naman ng, nga naman kumain, ano nang gagawin mo? So, ito. Eh, since the pandemic, um, hindi na pwede yun. Wala pang, and, ah, sabi niya mag-open yung mga cinemas, in December, ay, December, mag-open, nag-open na yung mga cinemas ng March 5, pero, nung chinik ko, hindi pa lahat ng course. So, here, ganito yung mga malls sa Metro Manila. Ang advantage lang nitong Power Plant Mall, at every station, bawat lalakaran mo, merong hand sanitizer. So, siguro, to make people feel even more at ease, but um, hindi pa talaga ganun kadami yung tao kasi super super konti pa lang uh, and may mga favorite ako actually na ice cream shop na nawala even my favorite shop na fully booked nawala ang mga puno lang ngayon is coffee shop so masasabi mo during the pandemic of 2021 um, the only stores that will survive are coffee shops so <laughs> We need our coffee shops. Pero, alam mo, ang sad, whenever I will go to the cinema, not far, and I will see na sarado ko siya. So, yun. Oh, so, kind of hoping na dito, yung mga cinema, pero yung mga Netflix talaga. Ba't iba pa rin yung family experience of you going to the uh, mall to watch? Eto dati, punong-puno tong salad stop na to. Um, people are waiting that for uh, their time to watch. So, greatly affected siya. And, um, also, one of my favorite restaurants na Tuan Tuan, under, ito ano kung under repair sila, but suddenly wala sila. Thankfully, nag-survive pala itong fully po. So, mga tao na yung mga bagong habits. Uh, mas dumami yung mga tao bumibili ng mga household appliances kasi sleepwear kasi mostly they're at home and um, mas maraming tao nagbabasa ng book so nag-survive ang book industry and pati ang Muji sa mag-open nga dito sa Manila yung IKEA but a lot of those things like events wala ka nang naririnig ng mga musicians dito sa baba and tinawa naman oh very very plain yung mall ngayon dati may mga car events dyan on a Saturday so very nakakalungkot din talaga and of course during the pandemic we lost, we lost a lot of people along the way um, so yun um, nakakalungkot din talaga siya uh, so ang dami kagaya nitong restaurant na to it's one of I think one of those that have been affected by the pandemic baka I don't know, I just eat here once or twice. Let's read, ano nangyari. Uh, okay, but I think na flexible working hours. So, I think, isa sila sa mga natamaan kasi Sabado ngayon eh. They're supposed to be open. So, madaming shops talaga na nagsara. But there are also those that uh, were able to fill up. So, really do is our daily uh, walk during uh, this is how uh, 
This is how malls look like in 2021 during the general and quarantine under pandemic. Pandemic pa rin. And it's still in our indoors are oops, yun bin. Sa SM Mall, ay SM Mall. Sa so, Marikita mo si Park Sao Jun. Dito naman. Uh, you will see. Ano si Gabi? Pag pala mo security guys. Makita mo si Hing Bin. Tapos sa uso-uso ngayon yung mga essential, essential oil. So, yun na document ko na rin para maalala ko. Ano ba yung itsura noong 33 years old ako nung nagkaroon ng pandemic? Actually, hindi pa rin ganun ka sila. Pero, may mga open naman. Power plant mall kasi, or uh, Ay- Ayala Mall ba siya? I think it's one of the posh malls where expats, foreigners tend to hang out. So, medyo, ang um, medyo 100,000 na nabaw yung sahod mo. Baka nag-frequent mo dito, but not necessarily naman. Anyone can hang out here naman if they want. O oh, yan, nakikita na naman tayo. So, sa mga matagal na hindi nag-mall, uh, I hope I'm violating any private laws naman dito. Kasi lahat naman ng mga tao naka-face shield, face mask, so wala naman nakikita ng mga faces talaga nila. Well, but I just really wanted to document what it feels like. So, walang mga bata. Mga bata. Uh, sa mga bata, walang... Although may mga nakita ko kanina senior citizens na tourists, so, <laughs> there. Eh, hindi naman na kailang, oh, tingnan mo, medyo nakakalungkot, diba? Halos mo lang naman yung mga stores. Pero yung mga coffee shops, meron naman. So, yan. But, ang daming nagsara talaga. Like this picture company, come play with us. I think kasi most of the products are also related with kids, so, nakakita na tayo ng at least two shops that two to three shops that have closed down here so hindi ko na alam how much their rent is but they weren't able to stay afloat uh, what I usually go to is yung the restaurants below so grocery kasi yung Rustan's grocery dito meron siya mga uh, wonderful canteen na canteen ba yan Pero masarap yung mga luto nila. It's really big. May big chicken, big macaroni. Na hindi mo nahahanap in most restaurants. So, dinadayo ko pa talaga siya minsan. Ngayon, makikita mo, uh, kumikitang kabuhayin pa rin si Adida sa si Power Max. So, despite the pandemic, meron pa rin talaga mga posh the people who can afford. Adi, syempre, feeling posh na rin tayo, di ba? Dahil nandiyan ko pa. <laughs> the weird, ang oh, naging weird thing, about this uh, pandemic is ganito yung mga tinitinta like this after siya this is like this but ang laki-laki parang wow parang yan na ba yung new new and then ito new fiber like something pa siguro ang na-advocate nila is to be healthier so talagang totoo na nga medicine the pharmaceutical companies and yun ang mga biggest companies ngayon na sobrang yaman. I don't know kung anong status ng mga clothing stores kasi wala nga mga events. There are no events so parang hindi nag-update yung mga fashion shows ngayon at nauso yung mga planting to planting ka. Kasi sabi nga nung anko, when the pandemic came, na-realize ng mga tao, ay, magaganda pala ang mga plants. So yun, nauso yung mga planting to planting ka. Pero sa Man, ang, ang, ang Philippines kasi there are three different groups the ultra rich, the super rich the ones who can have a billion billion pesos in their hands and more na hindi natin kilala and there are those na middle class sakto lang, tumasoldo ng 30,000 and then there are those yung magsasoldo na ng 15,000 below and then yung mga talagang 1,000 a month lang siguro. Hindi ko alam po paano sila nabubuhay. Here, itong place na to, um, dito nagpumunta yung mga foreigners talaga and uh, those that uh, sabi mo lang, may bit well to do, pero honestly, yung prices naman nila is hindi naman 
sobrang mag... Hindi naman sobrang iba. Sakto lang. May kanting tamahan lang siguro ko. Pero... Oh, ito pala. Magagawin pala sila. Rockwell goes street side. So, rock and drive. On Rockwell Friday to Sunday. So, nauuso ngayon yung mga outdoor dining. So, naging uh, big trend ng pandemic 2021. Ang outdoor dining. Sorry, matapap. Matapap. Uh, because people think that mas safer kumain sa labas. So, yung mga indoor events, nag-lesson talaga yan. Kukunti mga tao sa malls. Although, feeling ko magsisubarib na yung mga malls, pero yung mga non-essentials talaga, at yung mga pwede mo namang build in online, nag-migrate na talaga yung mga stores na yan into online shops. Kasi, it doesn't make sense na to set up a shop na halos wala naman dumadaan Right? Ito, 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 ito mga, dati puno ito mga shops. You can see a little person shop sa baba or an events place. Pero, dito mo nangyayari. Uh, dito lang sa baba, the food area na medyo maraming makain. There you go. Pero kung konti, this is super konti. Ito ah, nag, um, ito yung time na nag-start na silang mag-distribute na AstraZeneca and Sinovac. Pero still, kukunti pa rin mga tao. The trust in the the trust ng mga tao is not yet coming back. Kasi sinabi naman nyo kasi that these injections na vaccine is not a ticket to assurance that hindi naman kasi nila sinabi na kapag nagpa bakuna ka ay magiging safe ka. So, parang may 50-60% chance and mas mataas pa yung chance na magkakaroon ka ng uh, sakit. <laughs> Side effects. So, yung mga tao, syempre, uh, they're very reluctant to they're very reluctant na magkano kasi ganun pa rin. So, they're, re- so they're, very, so they're very, very reluctant na Ganun pa rin pala eh. Kahit na magpa-vaccine ka pala. Wala lang. So, so these are the posh stores. Uh, they were able to survive. I guess, may different economy naman kasi ang luxury stores. Right? So, maganda dito. Meron pa rin naman ito mga exhibit. And, pero so far, ito lang meron. Yung mga nagtitimutal lang ng fruits and veggies. But, hindi siya kasing sigla talaga. And, um, hindi mo siya doon nakakaporma mga tao. Or mali, hindi siya mo siya nakakapalit ng mga magagandang gamit the way they, the way they want. So, yan. There you go. Here's power plant mall. And, makas. And, uh, you, medyo magulo at raw footage lang tayo because, I really wanted you to experience the viewpoint ng tao na nandoon during the pandemic. So, there you go. Pababa na tayo kasi magugutong na rin ako. <laughs> so, ready for PM. Oh, ito, may UV disinfectant here. May UV disinfectant something to that. So, siguro yan to boost the trust of people. The safety of going outside. But, uh, it's really okay. It's really okay. It's really okay. But I said that it's at 50%. And the people who are coffee shops. So take note. If you have a business, even if you have a zombie apocalypse already, people will still want to drink their coffee. People will still want to drink their coffee. Oh, right? It's so good. So, okay now. I already eat. Thank you for your time and God bless.